Hi again, everyone, and welcome to the Pro Chuck Wagon Sports Update, powered by your Alberta Ram dealers. The 2013 Ram 1500 is Motor Trends Truck of the Year. Get into your quad cab SXT 4x4 for only $27,498 at the Load Up on Value Sales event. Getting the early lead and then holding on to it is pretty much the challenge facing every chunk wagon driver every night at every competition. The Calgary Stampede is no different. Just a little bit longer than most of the tour shows on the CPCA and the WPCA. High River's Jason Glass can certainly attest to that theory. It was night number six of the Rangeland Derby and the defending world champ didn't get the quick run he needed to maintain his lofty position at the top of the aggregate standings. Glass finished well back in the day money, claiming 15th place overall for the time of a 1.12 and 35. A quick look at the top of the day money leaderboard, and you realize that only 1.7 seconds separated the top 16 outfits. Grabbing first place Wednesday night was Grand Prairie's Chance Vegan with a solid run of a 110 and 70. Dubury, Alberta's Kurt Benzmiller was a little over a half second off the pace. He came in at a 111 and 34. Well, Ray Crotto Jr., who now makes his home in Sundry, Alberta, guided his outfit to a 111 and 40. Leaving with Tasco and Alberta's Rick Fraser to round out the top four with his Terracor Rentals outfit crossing the finish line in a 111.41. What does all of this mean to the playoffs on the weekend? Back in a moment to look at the aggregate standings after six nights of competition here at the Rangeland Derby at the Calgary Stampede. Ram 1500 is in a class all its own with best-in-class fuel economy and a class-exclusive eight-speed transmission. It was even named 2013 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. So to everyone else who didn't get there, class dismissed. Get an all-new 2013 Ram 1500 SXT 4x4 for less than 26000 See dealer for details. That's glory, Ram. Eight nights of qualifying runs will determine the top eight for Saturday night's semifinal runoff. Those wagons will be reseated in heats eight and nine on night number nine. Leading the way as we head into round seven this evening is Wetaskiwin's Rick Fraser with his Northwell oil field hauling outfit. Fraser sits number one with a total time on the week of a 7, 26, and 25. High River's Jason Glass has dropped into second spot with a total time of a 7, 27, 15. And Grand Prairie's Chance Vegan holding down third place at 7, 27, 70. Two. Fourth hole belongs to Kirk Sutherland, also from Grand Prairie, at a 7.29 and 8. Also currently qualified for the semifinals are Jerry Bremner from Westeros, Alberta, Kurt Benzmiller from Dewberry, Jamie Labacane out of St. Wahlberg, Saskatchewan, and Gary Gorst from Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan. Two more nights of racing to try and qualify for this year's semifinal playoff run on Saturday night. For your Alberta Ram dealers, now featuring the 2013 Ram 1500 in all of their showrooms, I'm Arnie Jackson for the Rodeo Country Radio Network.